Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Sam. And I'm Raina. The beloved sci-fi actor Leonard Nimoy passed away early this morning at the age of 83. Leonard's wife announced this morning that his passing was due to his battle with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Leonard announced on Twitter last year that he had been diagnosed with the disease because of his smoking habits in the past, and he urged his fans to stop smoking now to avoid the pain he had to endure. Although Mr. Nimoy was mostly known for his role as the pointy-eared half-alien from the planet Vulcan, he was so much more. He was a poet, a director, a musician, a photographer, or to put it plainly, he was an artist. He played Tevya in Fiddler on the Roof, he directed Three Men and a Baby, and he was nominated for an Emmy for his work in A Woman Called Golda. He was no one-trick pony. He even narrated my favorite weirdest game, Seaman, as well as Civ 4. He even voiced himself in Star Trek Online and Master Xehanort in two Kingdom Hearts games. He posted some of his poems to Twitter, and if you are not following him now, maybe swing by his account to check him out. They're very, very good. Most importantly, we'd like to read you his last tweet that he posted five days ago. A life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had but not preserved, except in memory. L-L-A-P. He signed all of his tweets with his character's signature slogan, Live Long and Prosper. It was a pleasant message he sent out to all of his fans on a regular basis. Many celebrities who were affected by his passing posted very thoughtful tweets this morning. Kevin Smith tweeted, Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most human. Farewell, Leonard Nimoy, actor, director, pop culture icon. NASA tweeted this photo of the Star Trek cast with the tagline, Rest in peace, Leonard Nimoy. So many of us at NASA were inspired by Star Trek. Boldly go where no man has gone before. And my personal favorite from the lighthearted but still polite Seth MacFarlane, Leonard Nimoy brought us one of the greatest, noblest characters in the history of American storytelling. Someone find the Genesis planet. I feel ya. A few of us at the office wanted to take a second to talk about our favorite memories of Leonard Nimoy, and we'd like you to share your favorite memories as well in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody loves Leonard Nimoy for his role as Spock, and he is fantastic in the movies, and the TV show, and everything. But for me, my favorite role for Leonard would have to be uh, William Bell in the Fringe series. He was so good, he was so clever, he was so maniacal sometimes, but at the same time he was there as this guide for the characters. He had one of my favorite taglines, which was, hello, my old friend. It resonated with me, and I, the way he delivered it and the way he created that character in that world uh, was extremely inspiring for me. This really sucks. When I was itty bitty little lass of 11 years old, I went to a book signing. Um, for Leonard Nimoy's I'm Spock book. I dragged my mother there for like three hours before the actual event. During the actual event, I do remember walking up to him. He was writing something in the book and I was shaking his hand. Everything just stopped. He said something along the lines of, these are the moments that push you, that make you want to keep going forward. That moment was very inspiring. I think it was about eight years old, the first time I ever watched uh, Star Trek with my dad, and I always thought Leonard Nimoy and his performances were so incredibly strong. He created this character that was so invested in science and the truth, and really like put, trying to put emotions aside, but you know, it really came down to, to seeking the truth in the universe. And so the correct response that I would like to say to Leonard Nimoy is uh, peace and long life.